Azeroth is very much the dark horse when it comes to motherboards. I don't think they're anyone's first choice, but they make some pretty good stuff, if littered with extremely strange decisions. And the ASRock B850 Riptide Wi-Fi is no different, costing you $220. And at first glance, it really does not differ that much from its X870 counterpart, apart from, you know, the price. You do get the same 14 plus 2 plus 1 power config rated at 80 amps, like on the X870, and even the same 8000 plus mega transfer per second memory rating as well. Which sure, there's definitely some B850 motherboards that offer you more than that, but again, it does not matter for the vast majority of people. Now when it comes to PC expansion, well these boards are kind of unique because they only have two PCIe slots, however that is plenty for most people. In fact, this board actually does a better job of spacing them out, giving you the maximum possible clearance between the two. The primary one is, as you can expect, PC Gen 5, while the other one is a four-lane Gen 4 slot, just like the X870. Though storage-wise, you actually get four M.2 slots here, which is actually one more than the more expensive X870, with the main one being Gen 5 and the other three being Gen 4. Yeah, that's exactly the kind of ASRock weirdness I was talking about. And like with most AMD motherboards, you have to be wary about the PC limitations, and putting anything in that third M.2 slot will disable that second PC slot. And to top it all off, we do have four SATA connectors. As far as other internal connections go, we do have six various fan ports, which may or may not be enough without splitters, depending on how many case fans you have, plus the expected free addressable ARGB ports, and I would say the expected non-ARGB port. However, we have seen that some companies like ASUS are actually trying to save a buck by dropping that degeneration, which I still think is just a joke. Anyway, when it comes to the rear I.O., that too is pretty much identical as this guy's X870 cousin, with a pretty 9 USB type A ports in total, definitely more than enough for your average Joe, with four of them being Gen 2. However, we do see a major downgrade when it comes to the type C ports, while you still get two that are only 10 gigabits each, while with the Riptide X870, you get a full-fledged 40 gigabit ports that you can expect from that chipset. But again, that may not even matter if you really don't need those kind of speeds on a day-to-day -day basis. Apart from that, the other things are pretty much identical. You have the same HDMI for integrated graphics, the same 2.5 gig Ethernet and Wi-Fi 7 as your networking options, because again, MSI are pretty much only people this generation offering anything more than that. And also the same two audio jacks and optical split if running of the AOC 4082 codec. So from a business perspective, this thing kind of shouldn't exist given how it offers you pretty much everything the X870 does while it's costing you $60 less. So you can save that much money, still get a motherboard that looks really, really good, actually gets one more M.2 slot, though of course loses out on that USB 4. But then there's something else that makes this even more confusing for ASRock, and that is the phenomenal budget X870 board that we covered in this channel that costs $20 less, and is pretty much the best value X870 board you can get. So I'm pretty much all for ASRock motherboards cannibalizing their own value proposition there as long as we get to enjoy some good and fairly priced motherboards for once. So if you want to get this link then our Amazon links to it will be up in iCards and down in the video description below alongside new egg links and also our Patreon because even a single dollar a month. Wow that's even better value. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vronyak, Balash Volker, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft and Level Up. But anyway that's it. It's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then remember to subscribe, like whatever and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.